Hi, I'm Allie Schmidt, and this is Steve Higgins. We're the advisors at HD Wealth Strategies. Well, here we are. We are just one week removed from the election, and we wanted to follow up on our election video that we put out a couple weeks ago with a brief update. That's right. The election has revealed a projected winner to be Joe Biden. But it's something of a surprise. The Democratic Party appears unlikely to have flipped the Senate. From an investor standpoint, this was by historical standards the best possible scenario, as a divided government with a Democratic president and Republican Senate has yielded the best market returns. Additionally, many of the potential changes that may have been a result of a blue wave are likely off the table and at best marginalized. Yeah, and specifically when it comes to tax reform, it is now unlikely that we'll have a sweeping overhaul for the tax code. Now, that is with one item we are keeping our eye on, and that's the potential change to the limit on what is known as the SALT deduction. So this is a $10,000 limit on the itemized deduction of state and local taxes. This was effectively a tax increase on wealthy Americans that hit the hardest in high tax states. There has been some talk of repealing the cap or possibly increasing that limit to 20,000. Um, seems like this would maybe be the one tax change that a President Biden could propose and a Republican Senate could pass, since it is essentially a tax cut and not a hike. Definitely something we're keeping our eye on. Yeah, that makes sense. And in what may be the best surprise news of the action-packed week, Pfizer announced their COVID-19 vaccine to be over 90% effective, which is vastly more successful than anybody could have imagined. Pfizer CEO Albert Bourla said in an interview with CNBC, it's a great day for science. It's a great day for humanity when you realize your vaccine has 90% effectiveness. That's overwhelming. He continued on to say, I think we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that is very good news. This has been a very unique year in pretty much every way imaginable. With all of the challenges facing our clients, we have tried to be as consistent as possible in our message to stay focused on long-term goals and follow the process. It's not easy and it takes discipline, but we have repeatedly maintained the importance of staying invested through a tough year, a heated presidential election cycle to what we were all waiting for, the promising news of a vaccine. With the S&P 500 nearing a new all-time high and up 58% since the pandemic low on March 23rd, we can say that our clients did stay the course and allowed us to implement our process. They've done very well and are solidly on track to meet their goals. And finally, we here at HD Wealth Strategies want to acknowledge the momentous, inspiring achievement for our country with the election of Vice President Kamala Harris as the first woman elected to executive office. As a father myself of three daughters, I want nothing to stand in the way of their opportunities, and I want nothing to hold them back. And if simply knowing that the path has been paved before them gives my daughters the belief that they can achieve something more, then I certainly believe that we as a country are better today. I couldn't agree more. I am a firm believer that representation matters. And for my two little girls and really all little girls out there, to see a female, someone who looks like them, in one of the most powerful positions in the world, I think matters. And Kamala will no doubt be the first of many, many women to hold that office in the United States. But a historic moment to be sure. So with that, thank you all so much. We appreciate the continued opportunity to work with you and your family. And as always, please let us know what else we can be doing for you. Ryan, to check out all of our pre and post election coverage, as well as all of our commentary regarding the COVID-19 pandemic um, and all of our blog posts, check out hdwscolorado.com forward slash blog. And with that, I'm Steve Higgins. This is my partner, Ali Schmidt. Thank you so much.